What's up everybody? Mike McIntyre here from All Things Sports bringing you a brand new video today to talk to you about a new release from Adidas that I am super super excited about. I got my hands on these almost as soon as possible. I'm really really lucky so I'm very very excited to bring you a video today about the new Adidas Predator 18 Plus. First off, the box is quite special. It's a unique box. It has a Predator logo right there in this sort of carved out uh, logo on the front of the box. You have all your information right here. So the official colorway is core black, white, and solar red. So we're going to unbox these. And as you can see, it's a very nicely presented box. You sort of pull the uh, top open and it sort of kicks forward the shoes a little bit. Extras, we have shoehorn right here. Adidas Predator string bag card that says the chrome coating will come off the normal everyday one layer of foam insoles. They're actually quite thick compared to some Adidas insoles of the past to be honest. They got a nice sort of felt suede material on the top and it does say master control right there. The Adidas Predator 18 Plus is sort of the replacement of the A series. This laceless model is the first time we've seen a laceless Predator. However, it is sort of the continuation of the Ace Pure Control, if you will. But there are a few differences, and in my opinion, this truly is a sort of updated, modern 2018 Adidas Predator. The new material in the forefoot is extremely soft. If you see me push on it right here, it's remarkably soft. The only other material that I think is as soft as this from right out of the box is the Puma Evo Power Vigor. Now, in my opinion, the A17 Plus Pure Control had a very soft prime knit forefoot. The white material that you see in the forefoot, that is an extremely soft prime knit material in my opinion, but it does roughen up a little bit in the midfoot and heel area just to give you the added stability given that there are no laces, but it wasn't rough and uncomfortable. It was just a little bit stiffer. This on the other hand is soft everywhere. It's unbelievable how they've sort of created this prime knit pattern and a laceless shoe at that, giving it such a soft upper and it's really, really incredible to be honest, and I think this is gonna be a great material for the Predator series moving forward. So you have this 3D thin layer sort of here that's reminiscent of the original Predator way back from 1994. So it is not grippy, but it does give you that sort of Predator element in a way that's just giving you an extra sort of texture on the ball. You can see you have these sort of textured ribs right here in the stripes as well. And that's just gonna give you a little bit more stability. I think it's helping with the reinforcement of the shoe given it, given that it is a laceless model. On the inside of the shoe, you can see how they've given the Predator this almost reminiscent of the past pad element we've seen on the LZs and the Predator Instincts. There is this sort of textured layer that just sort of cups out a little shape here in the middle, just giving you a little bit more rebound effect, giving you a little bit more texture and feel once again on the ball when taking quick touches, and of course, making some passes. So I do really, really like these sort of textured elements. Again, they're not grip, they're not rubber, but I do like the feel they have, and I do really, really like how soft the upper is from right out of the box. This area and all the sort of textured bits you see are just designed or engineered primate. So they've redesigned the way they've woven the primate and they've heated it in certain areas to help create these shapes. And that is the forged knit that you see. The forged knit material is making up these sort of 3D elements while the prime knit is acting as the base and you can kind of see how soft it looks in this very tip right here. And of course you have exposed prime knit up here making up the sock. It's kind of an interesting cut, but to be honest, when I put them on feet, you'll see how logical this sort of cut actually is. It's way more comfortable in my opinion than the high cut dynamic fit collar that you'll find on the Nike models. It does make some sense. It's cupping your heel quite nicely. You can see the sort of S-curve shape here that they brought over from the Ace line, and that fits quite nicely. You have an external heel counter right here with the ever, you know, iconic Predator logo right there. I'm glad they threw that in. And I do think that the overall shoe just looks the part. I think it's a really, really cool looking shoe. They've lined the top sort of forged knit and prime knit materials here with the control skate covering. The sole plate on the other hand is once again based off of Adidas sprint frame. This is now known as the control frame and you can see how the layout is pretty much the exact same as the sprint frame. They just sort of reshape the studs ever so slightly. You do have these sort of oddly shaped triangular studs. Some of them have a fourth or fifth side depending on the stud, you know, like the one up here, there's a couple shapes to it. They've just re-engineered the sort of 
uh, stiffener bars that run through the middle. You can see you have this sort of piece that runs through here that is quite stiff. So this sole plate is extremely stable when trying to twist it, but it also is flexible enough in the forefoot once you get them on your feet and start moving around in them. So I do really, really like that. And of course you have an external heel counter right here, which again is reminiscent of the Adidas Sprint Frame. In addition to the Adidas Sprint Frame, you do get a sort of boost material in the sole plate itself. That just accompanies the sock liner that I have right here. This is a boost sock liner. Now again, you can see how thin the actual insole is, so don't expect to step into these and feel the same step in comfort as a pair of Ultra Boost, for example, or NMDs or something like that. So that's it for the initial review of the Adidas Predator. I'm going to slip them on so you guys can get a better look as to how these things fit and feel, and we'll talk about sizing in the next part of the video, so stay tuned. So there's a quick look at the Adidas Predator 18 Plus on feet. From right out of the box, these are extremely comfortable. They are more comfortable than last year's Adidas 17 Plus Pure Controls. And once again, just because there's no plastic reinforcement where these three stripes are, there is that much more step in comfort from right out of the box. There's gonna be very minimal break in time with these shoes. And that is in part, once again, because there is no plastic reinforcement on the outside of the shoe like we had on the Adidas A17 Plus Pure Control. The Pure Control needed that bit of material to reinforce the upper, give it some shape, some stability, and allow you essentially to stay locked down in the shoe. This shoe is using the forged knit material to achieve that lockdown. It's also using that new sort of design in the heel. You can see that sort of S cut in the heel that's helping you, you know, push your heel down into the base of the sole plate and just give it that much more of a lockdown feel. Again, I'm a Predator fan. I've worn every pair for the last, you know, 10 to 12 years and I'm so excited to see the Predator come back. You can see the way the shape of the sock just fits a human foot quite naturally and, and again, I think it's a very intelligent design. There is absolutely no discomfort in the heel like you get with the Nike models at the beginning. It's very, very good. They've cut down, just because the sock is fully exposed primate once again, it's very, very elasticated. And they've cut down on the loose areas that you had around the collar in the A16. It was a big issue in the, in the A16. And they got, you know, they reduced it a little bit on the A17, but you can see how they've virtually eliminated the sort of space that you have between your ankle and the sock collar in the new Predator 18 Plus. If you're a Predator fan like myself, I think you're gonna love this new modern take on the Predator. They fit true to size, the width is good, the length is good. Adidas is always very consistent in their sizing, so get your normal everyday Adidas size and they're gonna fit you absolutely great. The Predator is back, it's reborn, it looks the part, and it feels amazing. And that's it for today, guys. Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports, signing off for now. Loving the new Predator, the Predator is back, and I can't wait to get going. Take care, guys. See you in the next video. Thank you guys very, very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, smash that like button, leave a comment, and consider subscribing for more videos. See you guys next time on All Things Sports by Mike McIntyre.